Good afternoon and welcome to the tour of Founders Hall. Um, we are standing right outside of it right now because we wanted to show you a little bit what's around it. Um, across the street from Founders is going to be Kimple Hall which is currently Kimple? under construction. That's why it's super loud so we apologize for that. Um, and of course we have Dixon Street if you go down. All the way down. All yeah. the way down. And then there's Greek Theater. There's going to be another dorm across the street, Gibson, mm -hmm. and then we have Gregson, and then right here is the big and famous Bruff Dining Hall, and it has Starbucks. Um, on the other side, there's a place called Bruff Agogo, where you can go during in between classes if you just need a quick lunch. You uh -huh. can just go and swipe your card. Did you ever go to Bruff Agogo? I did. They have really good sandwiches. Yeah. I mean, it's nice when you have 15 minutes between your next class, but you're starving. It's so easy to just go in there and swipe your meal card. Nice. And then Slim Chickens is where you could catch me every single night for meal trade. Um, there's a Slim Chickens, there's a Greek food place, and there's mm -hmm. also Taco Rocket, which is a Mexican food place. Nice. It's really good. I imagine they have tacos. Yeah, I love tacos. They have the best beans and rice huh. ever. Yeah, so there's definitely a, check that out. There's a nice little sculpture of a Razorback right there. We will give anyone a, we will repost your picture if you sit on this hog. <laughs> hey, Jennifer, thank you. We're glad you're tuning in and listening to us. Thanks, Jennifer. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us. We're happy to yeah. ask, answer them. We're going to go in now to uh, Founders List. Is anything else yes. you want to point out? No, I mean, this is just a this nice place. This is the center place. campus, so it's yeah. kind of cool to see. It's yeah. so nice. I mean, I lived in Yoakum Hall my freshman year, mm -hmm. and it was nice because I could just get out of bed like 10 minutes before class and just go straight to class. But <laughs> okay. this was one of my favorite places to come out and study whenever it was nice outside. So, yeah. Sure. Let's head on in. Of course. It's a little bit of a walk to the front door of it, but That's not okay. too far. <laughs> so now what are you studying, Molly? I'm studying advertising and public relations. Which okay. Right here, this is my home. It's Kimple Hall, which is has basically all of your journalism classes inside. I see. Um, also, right in front of us is a parking person. Uh -huh. So park in the right spot, or else you get expensive. Oh yeah, there's a, exactly. What um, is there a journalism class you'd recommend? Um, I really liked Media and Society. It's one of your base. It's a good. It's one of your gen eds for journalism. This is Rocket Taco, sure. right? Yeah, That's there's Rocket Taco. Taco. Uh, I'm just a little hungry. <laughs> um, Media Society is an intro class. I took it with Kara Gold. Uh -huh. And it's good because some people, they don't know what they want to major in when they come to university. So it's one of those classes that basically tells you everything you need. Okay, right on. So there's Founders Hall. That was our quick little walk back from that area right there, which is Dixon Street. Dixon Street, yes. And now we will go inside. Uh -huh. Nice, okay, here we go. So nice air conditioning. Yeah, it's a little warm out there, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, yeah. great. well let's, uh, let's introduce actually to Stacia, who is your CRE if you're living here. How are you doing, Stacia? Doing great, thank you. Fantastic. Can you tell us what a CRE is? Absolutely. So I am the coordinator for residence education, um, and that just means I supervise the staff here, and um, I'm here for you guys as a resource, um, and I work with the building facilities and all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Nice, so. nice. Um, and I guess we have what? Around 200 and something? 216 so? residents that Excellent. live here in the building. Mm -hmm. Great. Any advice you would give them for these people who are coming to Founders this fall? Yeah. So, um, Founders is awesome, first of all. I have to say that. Um, so, just, you know, get here and enjoy your time. There are a ton of awesome people living here in the building. Your RAs are amazing. Um, and we're all here for you to help you through this first year and really transition into college. Um, so just reach out to us and have a great time and go to class. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Stacia. I really appreciate it. And you'll be meeting Stacia when you come this fall. Yeah, so. absolutely. We're super excited to see you all here this fall. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, Molly. Well, awesome. let's keep doing our tour of Founders. Not going to lie. I wish it lived here. It's so nice. <laughs> so that's so. digital signage. I want to point that out to you. Yes, that's digital uh, signage. So this is basically when you walk in, it's going to tell you everything that you need to know about Founders Hall mm -hmm. and activities going on. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to be in tune with what your hall has because there's free food. He doesn't love that. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice way to hang out and meet up with some other people in your hall. So Yeah. yeah. Shanna, we'll absolutely do some rude measurements as we go upstairs. Yes. Like, we, she's got a tape measure right there. Don't yes, worry. we're ready. So let's show them the kitchen, which is actually yes. a really ample kitchen. Yeah. Back 
there. I don't know if you can really see that. And Let's see. I'm going to come around bridge. and check the look. Yeah, right here. Um, Elizabeth, we are going to go up into one of the gable rooms. Yes. So we can give you some measurements there, too. So you've got a full kitchen. I think one of the things that sometimes people don't realize is that, sure, you have a meal, meal plan by living on yes. campus. But you can make food here as Oh, definitely. Well. Like, sometimes it's just nice to have some Pillsbury cookies and cook, I mean, cheap old pizza. It's mm -hmm. nice. And it's, it's good because you can come over here and you can hang out with your friends and all just have a nice meal. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a pretty ample kitchen. Yeah. And right here we also have some recycling. Um, mm -hmm. You're going to have your paper, your plastic and aluminum, and then your cans. Nice. And I guess we're coming into kind of one of the, well, this is the front desk area. Yes, yeah, so right here, you're going to have a staff member sitting here. Um, mm -hmm. If you ever have questions or need anything, definitely contact them first. Sure. One thing to note, too, though, is that mail is actually delivered to Humphreys, which is just one building over. So they actually deliver the mail there. Yeah. But you will have a front desk person here to answer your questions. Um, this is a super nice, just kind of lounge area, living room, if you want to call it that. Um, every single time when I passed by here last year, it was completely full. Um, it's one of the best places to study. There's chairs among the walls, and there's also a ping pong table. If we walk back here, I can't tell you the amount of ping pong tournaments that have been going on over here. <laughs> it's one of the best things. So you have that, and you can check out paddles from um, the person at the front desk. Sure, so. sure. And very close, obviously, to um, Kimball, but also close to Walton Business College as yes. well. Yes, it's so it's center of campus, which is nice to everything. It's probably about a three-minute walk to the Walton College, mm -hmm. um, probably about five, six minutes to Old Main. So it's really nice to be in center on campus. Yeah. yeah. So we've got our water yes. station here. We are at twenty-five thousand and eighty-six. Nice. Helps eliminate waste from plastic okay. bottles. And then we've got our laundry area. And here's our laundry room. We have an ice machine. Mm -hmm. um, we have vending machines, of course. That is not included in any of your plans. So you will have to pay for that. The vending you do have to pay for. But, <laughs> Dang but it. the laundry. The laundry, laundry you do not. Um, so we have washers on this side. And on this side we have dryers. Um, they have this thing where you can actually scan this little QR code. And if your clothes are in the washer, it will tell you whenever they're done. So you can move them to the um, dryer, and if you are wanting to know, like, is there any that are open, it will tell you if it's open. So, super nice tool to use. It tells you on this wall how to get there. You can do it on your phone, do it on your computer. The laundry um, alert system that we have? Laundry yeah. alert system, yes. I mean, I always did, I thought the best time to study for me was like when I was doing my laundry. I got a lot done, so. Nice, nice. Hey, thanks, Rosario, for tuning in. Yeah, so you were here for a meeting of the shareholders. That's great. We uh, we love it when the shareholders come and stay here. Thank you. So let's see what we're gonna else we're gonna see on this floor. I think we were gonna yes. gonna the study room. One of the study rooms. Yes. Uh, thank you. The study room is gonna be right over here. It just looks like a big meeting conference room. Um, again, like I said, it's always full in here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, great space to come in and study yeah. with uh, other people who are either from Founders or not. You can bring them yeah. in and you can use this as a study area. If you, if you don't live in Founders, um, whoever lives in Founders, they can just bob you and you can just come study in here. Because it's really quiet in here and I feel like it's kind of noise reduced. Um, and they also have this big computer that you could, if you have an HDMI cable or something like that, where you could hook it up and you can hook your computer up to that. Yeah. So if you're all ready to study or something. Where did you like to study? What was your favorite spot? Mm, I mean, like I said, outside of Founders was my favorite whenever it was nice outside. But, I mean, if I went to Mullins, I usually got everything done. Okay, so, okay. And Mullins is our library here on campus. We call it Club Mullins because you're there all the time. So it's all like right. a club. Um, the basement's going to be complete, utter silence. <laughs> and then you have the first main floor, which has all of your computers. Um, and it has basically, like, all the staff. It's main floor that you walk in on and then you have the second floor which is no talking and then third floor is talking okay so which floor do you spend the most on the talking third, or yeah. the silent the talking floor? okay okay Let's i go. I, I always do group projects and i can't keep quiet <laughs> i can't <laughs> no that's good that's good yeah. okay well i think that was all we want to see on the first floor where yes. there are a lot of common spaces i will point out that bruff actually connects to or it goes through to the uh, restaurant over there. Yes. 
So you can go through that door at the end of the hall and end up, I think, in Rocket Taco. Yes, Rocket Taco. <laughs> so we'll go up to the sixth floor to look at one of the gables. I think um, Elizabeth was asking us about that. Yes. So we will get that taken care of for you. Any yes. other questions while we're going upstairs? There is a bathroom and some stairs right here. Mm -hmm. Now, the internet here may be a little bit dodgy as we're in the elevator, but we'll see. <laughs> it's a good place to be and move in as in a month and 10 days. Yeah, it's, it's so. really coming up anytime. Um, when, uh, where are you from? I'm from Rogers, so I live about 30 minutes up the road. Okay. Has some really good shopping if y'all ever want to go find a dress for formal or something. Or the guys, it has good food. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Um, okay, here's going to be a little, um, just kind of a study room. They're on every single floor. Has really good natural lighting. And it's just a good place to go if you want to yeah. get out of your room. Okay. And then we will walk down this way and we will see a gable room. Um, so if anyone, if you have a gable room, tune into this. We will, however, do the measurements mm -hmm. in a regular room, um, just because it's a little bit easier. Sure, we'll do a couple in here if we need to, but... Uh, uh, no, this is a single room. Okay. Six, 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 That's fine. Oh, one right. more. <laughs> it's open. So, uh, yes. Kayla, thank you for joining us. The first, five, first six minutes, we just kind of looked at uh, the public common areas downstairs. Now we're up in the room, full pan of this yeah. room. All the furniture in here is movable, which is super nice. You have an in sink in the room that also has some drawers over here. Um, and you have some dressers over there, which is super nice. Um, so this is a gable and it's called a gable because it's got that kind of gabled area right there. So something to be aware of when you have a gable room is it's gonna have that space right there. Um, so you were, you were kind of showing us, let's see, what else yeah. we want to see here? Um, I will say something to make sure when you're going to buy a mini fridge for your room, make mm -hmm. sure that it is less than 29 inches. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a requirement for founders. Did you have a um, refrigerator your first yes, year? Yes, I had a fridge. I mean, Yoakum? I'm really just, yeah, I lived in yoga. I just had drinks and stuff like that. I didn't really eat because I had a meal plan. It'd be stupid to waste your meals on if you went to go buy more food. But it was super nice to have, to have. I drank chocolate milk for breakfast every morning and I didn't want to go wake up and go to breath, but. <laughs> breath, <laughs> breakfast of champions, best. chocolate milk. So Jennifer's asking us uh, from the top of the window to the floor, please, as long as the non-gable rooms are the same. So let me, I'll give you this view. And then the difference is you'll see it when we go visit the non-gable room. I mean, here's me standing here against it. Right here. Uh, and there is a PDF on the housing webpage under the Founders Campus Community that gives more detail as well. Yeah. Okay, so Jennifer, you would like the measurement of the desk and the little drawer next to it. Yeah. Okay. okay, the desk width is going to be right at 28. And well, then the, the desk would be the whole, the whole space underneath there. So if you need to pull it out, we can do that. It would yeah. be the whole... Um, see how strong I am. Yeah, let's see. Can we come out? There you go. Let me see if I can help you here. It's like stuff. Oh, is it? Okay, it is two pieces. It is yeah, two pieces. Yeah, it's two okay. pieces, but we sorry, can just measure sorry. it like that. Okay, yeah. Um, from the dresser down, looks to be about 30. Okay, 30. So the height is 30. I think we said 20, 28? Yeah. 28. And I guess this is going to be about the same, right? This looks should like be the same. Dimension. I mean, I Yeah, yeah, 30, uh -huh. and then width is 32. Okay, so. 32, okay. So, I'm sorry, what was this one, do you remember? 28 by 30, um, 32, 30. 32, 30 over here, 28 by 30 on that one? Yeah, yeah. 28, 30, 32, 30. Okay, hopefully that helps, Jennifer. We're happy to give you that information. Um, like we said, you can move all of the furniture that's in here. So, you can make bunk beds if you want. If, it can do that. Yeah. Um, and then you have the desk, and there's a little bit of space in that back corner where you could put some clothes. Yeah, let's see. Um, so, yeah. yeah you can, there is some extra closet kind of space right there. 
And then you got your sink. You have your sink, you have some small little drawers. You have a little desk drawer right here. Mm -hmm. And then you have a towel rack, of course. So let's go ahead and head downstairs. Yes. I'm sorry. Um, let's go down to uh, third floor and look at a bathroom. And uh, then we can... Sorry, Jennifer, did we get what you wanted? I think we did. There's other furniture downstairs the same size. We're happy to measure that for you. Um, we're gonna also show y'all the bathroom. Um, we'll go into that first, just so you can see about it. Okay. Yeah. That'd be and, good. Yeah, we'll go there first. So when did you go to your first Razorback game? Oh gosh. <laughs> My first Razorback game actually was the uh, versus Alabama. I know that oh, for sure. I just okay. couldn't win. Yeah. Because I'm from Alabama. So I'm, oh, okay, I'm certainly okay. an Alabama fan. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just happens. It just happens. Okay, so we're going into the women's bathroom on the third floor, knocking to make sure. Hello. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Yep, we are all good. Okay. Um, super nice inside here. Like the nickname of Founders is called Hotel Founders, and I hope y'all can see why. What's it called? Hotel Founders. <laughs> it's it literally looks like a hotel. This is our newest residence hall, by the way. Too. It, was it was built, built in 2013. Bam! You got it. And these are going to be showers right here. Um, super nice. They're just good old. Okay, we can shove this aside. They're yeah, just a walk-in shower. Let's get in there and see what's up. They're really big. They're super big. They're not like a small, tiny space. It's just like a regular shower. Yeah. Just doesn't have a bathtub. Um, and then you behind. You have your shelf too. I guess the shelf's kind of. Yes. Put all of your shampoo and stuff on. Is that a closing locking door? Yes. And it will tell you if it's big or if it's open. Okay, nice. Cool. And then right behind you in this bathroom is going to be our handicap bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you want to see this. Yeah. So Accessibility is a big thing for us. Here. Exactly. It's what we're all about. So super nice, super big. Um, and then to, over here is just your regular old bathrooms. Yeah. Let's look at this. So there's a vanity too. You want to... Yes. Just a nice little... Mm -hmm. Mirrors, and then we have trash can sinks, and this window, it just looks at a ceiling, but that's rough right there. That's how close the two are to each other. Okay. Yes. Nice. It's literally connected. And so there's, um, uh, I think two of these on each floor, if not two. There's at least one. Yes. By every floor, so. I want to say, say there's two. Okay. Well, now let's go check out this uh, room. Okay, we're going this way. Oh, oh. All right. Uh huh. Oh, yes. Okay. And so, this will be the final room we look at. S smells like a hotel. Yeah. Um, so, this AKA is. AKA clean. A clean, the, yes. That's just what we're talking about. Um, so, this is just going to be a regular room. You have a lot of space. The, again, the furniture is movable. It's going to have all of the same things. It still has a sink that's inside. Um, and something to know before you move in, if you do want your bed lofted, you can always just send in a maintenance request and they'll have it done for you for when you get here. So that way you don't have to do it yourself. And did you loft your bed? I did. I loft it all the way up to here. Mm -hmm. So I have enough space for my fridge and then I had some more drawers that I bought from home to put underneath my room because I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. I have too much stuff. <laughs> so uh, Jennifer's asking for a top of window to floor. So... Top of window to floor. See how. I guess for some curtains. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And uh, let's see. I can help you if I need to. Yeah, Hold I gotta that. make this longer. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll grab this. Uh. <laughs> can we get you? Yeah. yeah. Thanks. How many people does it take? <laughs> okay, that is a. Uh, 95. So 95 inches from the top of the window to the floor. <laughs> Got it <out>. <laughs> Okay. And then, um... I would definitely put a curtain in here. Yeah. What room number are we in? 331. 331. 331, Shannon. Shannon, sorry. 331. And Jennifer asked, that one, the small one with one drawer. Where is the one with one drawer? This one? That's a little, oh, the nice end. 
Yeah, this nightstand. I mean, this one also, some cool about it, if you turn this knob, you could put a little key right there and it locks it. If you've okay. ever had something valuable that you didn't want to someone to get. I don't know why someone would come in here. <laughs> but um, this is just going to be a good bedside table. Let's measure it. I don't know if this is what you're talking about, but we will go ahead and measure it. Yeah. So this is going to be 24 and a half. Okay. By... Why am I doing it that way? This way is so much easier. Yeah, if you can just hook it underneath there, I'll give you a good... By 30. By 30, okay. 24 and a half by and 30. And the top width of that. So we got the length, I guess. What's the width of this? Um, the drawer is going to be almost 16. Almost 16. It's 15 and 3 fourths. Okay. 15 yeah. and 3 fourths for that. And then... What's the distance between these two beds? Um, well, they can be slid over a little yeah. bit more. Slide it over just to get the full. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, from that there. Oh, we'll get it from the outside. So here, I'll hold it on the outside. Oop. So from the outside to the outside? It's 59. 59 inches between the two beds. On the outside of that. I know that seems not like a lot, but I promise you it's a lot bigger when you start to live in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. I mean, you're going from a bigger space to a smaller space, but it's not bad at all. It's going to be really good. Uh, Shannon asked about the length of the wall from the window to the sink wall. So, I guess to the sink wall, this would be the sink wall. Hold that down there. Mm -hmm. Can we just get it? We're just gonna we're gonna guess right here. See how big? Okay, that's 44, 145, 146. 146 inches. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's over 10 feet. That's uh, yeah, it's a little bit more. Um, Elizabeth asked, "Are the nightstands in the gabled rooms?" And yes, I think there's nightstands yes, in yes, all of Yes, yes, there rooms. were. Yeah. It's all the same furniture. All the same furniture. Yeah, we can go ahead and measure a nightstand just for you to see. Mm -hmm. Um, across, it's going to be 32. Oh, why am I doing this? Um, above, it's 30. And that's 32 again. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jennifer asks about the cutout in the corners, the length of that square. The cutout in the corners. Yeah, so that's going to be about 11. 11 inches is that by. Oh! <laughs> you need me to pull back? Yeah, I got it. Um, 11 inches by 5 and a half. Okay, so 11 inches by 5 and a half inches is that. Yeah. Is that little corner cutout right there. Yeah, it has a weird extra corner right there, but. Okay. It's and okay. then Shanna asks the length of the wall from the sink wall to the door. So I guess we're picking yes. up on the other side. I'll let you take this apart again. Mm -hmm. To the end of that wall, it's going to be 99 and a half. 99 and a half would be the length. Okay, fantastic. What should I? What? It should. Here, I got it. Scared. There you go. Okay. I don't want it doesn't to come in me. too hard on you. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Any other. Uh, okay. Uh, Jennifer's asking about the inside of the window. Yes. So, we can give her the same. Um, it's going to be five and one fourth um, for the length. And the width is going to be 36 and one fourth. 36 and one fourth is the length. And then, I'm sorry, what was the width? Um, I mean, I would, I would call, I guess width is five and one fourth. Five and one fourth, okay. <laughs> I don't know which one you call which. No, no, I, I'd say it's It's just mix matchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Well, excellent. Well, let's see what we get a view of out here. It's going to be Kimple Hall, which is right now Kimple under Kimple. construction. They're going to add some. Um, it's going to be another building on top of that that has like glass all around it. Okay. Super nice. Okay. Kimple needs it. Um, and then there's some offices in Kimple, some mm -hmm. language department, communications, journalism. A lot of them are in Kimple. And then to the next, to the side of Kimple, it's going to be the whole business college. So that's going to have Willard J. Walker Hall. It's going to be, have the J.B. Hunt transportation um, building. And then the actual... Sam Walton College of Business. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. 
Um, Shayla asked us to measure the small sink wall. Small sink wall. Maybe she's talking about the... Let's get that. We'll get this. We'll just measure it all. 23 and 3 fourths. I'm 23. so sorry. Oh, you're blowing up right now. Okay. Dang telemarketers. <laughs> okay. And you hold that. That's going to be right at 20 or 93. 93. Okay. 93. And then let's just go ahead and measure this part. Oh, oh, this is what she means. This, this wall. Okay. Yes. This is going to be 27 and 1 fourth. Mm -hmm. And 5. And 5. 27 1 fourth and 5. And then let's see. Jennifer asked about the inside of the wardrobe. What is the hanging link? Okay. I've got some shelves in here. Um, so we probably would hang from. There's two places to hang, it looks like. There's right there. Why am I always measuring it that way? I need to measure this side. Okay. Right at 57 okay. to the top of that. Well, you're looking uh, at it from the, top, the bar, I think. From the bar, it's going to be right at 52 and one fourth, one half. Okay. Um, and and then, then there's this upper one. This upper one. It's going to be 34 and one fourth. 34 and 1 fourth. Yeah. So okay. Right about to that end. Um, and then we have just shelves right here. And then we have a vanity mirror, which is so nice for you girls who don't know what to wear. Okay. Um, uh, Shannon asks a question too. Shannon asks a question. Mm -hmm. Tell us the distance from under the counter to the floor. So I'm assuming that would mean under the counter. Oh, there's two. This was Isaac. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there's two different sizes to that. So this is going to be 33 and 3 fourths. Mm -hmm. And then how much is this length right here? This part right here? Yeah. I'm sorry, not the length, the height, so she can get that. Um, six and a half. Six and a half, okay. Yes. Great. Fantastic. Um, Thank you, Molly. Yeah. And then this one is um, doesn't have that little wooden piece. Yeah, so it'll just, let's just double check. Sure. That's going to be, come on, 34, almost, 33 and 3 fourths, or 34. 33 and 3 fourths, or 34? Yeah. 33 and 3 fourths. Okay, 33 yeah. and 3 fourths inches. Yeah. And there All are right. some drawers right here mm -hmm. um, that you can put makeup in, so. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, um, I think that wraps us up for a tour of Founders. Do you have any... Final words of advice for those incoming? Um, get involved yeah. when you get here. 100% um, do sorority recruitment, do um, any type of club. All about getting involved is how you're going to enjoy the campus the most. Um, and have fun. That's the bottom line. Go to class 100%. Mm -hmm. Have fun and work your hardest. You're on your own and it's difficult, but it's doable. So, okay. yeah. Okay. Great. Well, we'll take one last question because that came in. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a plug under on both sides? I believe here. Yes. There's a plug under on that side. And up top, and there's not one on this side. Okay. Okay. But there's one on top and bottom over there. So there's a plug here, and a plug here. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all, all of you for tuning in. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on our tour today. If this wasn't your hall, you can always go to movein.uark.edu and you can see all the other halls. And RSVP to your day where we will be doing the same exact thing. Yeah. Nice.